Hi, we're here at Health and Healthcare today. We're going to discuss about the common signs, uh, common problems we go through in our daily lives. We have a colleague here who explain to us what has happened to her. Doris, please tell us what's happening with you. Uh, I'm having heart pain, stomach discomfort, pain. Yeah, some nausea. Acidity is excessive acid production from the stomach lining. Yeah. So what are some of the signs and symptoms? So I think some of the signs and symptoms of acidity we have choking during the night, running sensations, upper abdomen of pain that is elastic pain, and maybe some people experience cough when some do have nausea and and ph pharmacists give uh, Gaviscon, Resagel, there are some tablets. Once you take them and maybe you have experienced the sense of symptoms have taken longer than five days, you can take the department. Okay. So when you, when you go to your doctor, what, what are the investigations that will be done? So they can do a stool analysis, they can do H. pylori test, and sometimes they can do a stool analysis. In some situation that uh, an OGD may be required to be done, that's a uh, uh, scope is passed through your food pipe and we view the line of your food pipe and also your stomach and to see how how intense or severe the acidity is. Did you get any test from the OGD or what? What are the plans? We are looking at the lining of the food gut and also the stomach. Sometimes we but to take a biopsy. So this is a more of a diagnostic test compared to a lab investigation, correct? Yeah. Okay. So what are the preventions that uh, we can we can do in our day to day life? Maybe diet, mm -hmm. or lifestyle modification. By lifestyle modification, what do you mean? Avoiding too much alcohol intake or smoking. Mm -hmm. Can just stop coffee. Okay. Yeah. What about tea and coffee? Does that make does that exhibit acidity? It does. Yeah. Okay, so to, to take that in the as well. Yeah. yeah. And some fruits and vegetables also. Yeah, yeah. Spicy, yeah. Foods. spicy food. Spicy okay. food. Chewing. Yeah. Chewing what? Chewing gum. 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 Chewing gum as yeah. well. Mm. That's interesting. Also, uh, reducing the. We should have more fruit, small frequent meals. Mm -hmm. And also, to have a mm -hmm. large meal at home. Yeah. And also, avoid lying down immediately you eat. What about long-term fasting? You know how people go for long-term fasting to reduce weight, maybe. Does that affect acidity as well? It does. It does. So to also be mindful of your fasting periods as well. Yeah. And water. Water intake is the most important thing. I think hydration is very important as well. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So friends, this is some of the things that we can do to avoid acidity. If you have any questions or you want us to answer any of your questions, please feel free to contact us on the numbers provided and come and visit us at Fifth Avenue Office Suits, Upper Hill. Thank you.